Hey y'all. Uh, I'm free today and I was hoping I could do some videos. I just don't know how this is going to play out. I might have to do this somewhere else. I can't do it inside where I usually do videos because my wife's working and my man cave is under some uh, some serious uh, uh, work. So I've done a lot of moving around and a lot of, you know, I just had no place to put nothing. So the man cave is turned into a warehouse right now. Um, it was a very gray, wet Sunday. It's raining all day, and I was outside. And well, this is part two because it got rained on. So I've got a couple of videos here that deal with the way YouTube used to be, where you have an item, you review the item. And then you go on to the next thing, at least in my world. YouTube is not, <clears throat> and maybe I'll make a separate video on this, but YouTube is not what it used to be. YouTube is not fun anymore, and it's not learning. You're not learning a damn thing on YouTube anymore. It's all about the the latest, one, the latest, another 100,000 views, the latest, you know, what money can I get out of it. It's all about the business end rather than the informational end. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. So moving right along. The next, uh, this this first video is going to be on this. We're going to do back to the star. Now, as you see here, you may see. Oh, wait a minute. That's a little bit different. Yeah. Let me give you the other side view. Okay. So we're going to the modularity of another rifle, which is Star. Star's got a reputation for some reason not being modular. That's not true. It, it, you can mount the same things as you mount on an AR. So anyhow, uh, this is from Corvus Defensio. And I have not seen a lot of people do videos about the Star and the different accessories. I guess it's because, once again, I believe that it's a very niche gun. Uh, and it has a niche price tag, so people naturally are not going to mess with it. So, <clears throat> this looks like good lighting right here, so I'll go with this. So, as you know, on the handguard, the handguard is a spring activated handguard. So, it's up, you press forward, and it comes down. And there's pos positives and negatives to that. Um, one of the positives is, you know, you got a handguard right here, everything's really tight and close. The negative is, that you got a hand guard and nothing else. So, you know, if you wanted to add more and you wanted to be low, you can't do that. Everything's got to be up top or on the side, some way of down around here, and there's your piston, and that becomes a issue. So, uh, if you hear the rain, pardon, but I, you have to talk with the good Lord about that. Um, so, the way this works is your hand guard. The handguard's got a, uh, on the, if you can imagine the uh, original handguard, the drop down, the handguard has a cap. And that cap's attached to a spring, which of course is attached to a, a, um, how do I put it? It's, um, I don't know the proper name for it, but it's a metal attachment that actually attaches between the pin attaches between the pin so that you can get this this um, motion to retract it up retract it back so what you want to do is take that cap off <clears throat> and when you do you're going to use a screwdriver you're going to take the cap off you're going to place the screwdriver in that there's a hole in that spring that you want that screwdriver to go through. And you're going to just rest it on the the the, uh, the handguard. There's a little hook to that spring that that cap is attached to. Just take the cap off. Take some needle nose pliers and, and uh, grab a hold of the spring. Retract your screwdriver and then, you know, gently let the spring go down its own tension. Then take your needle nose pliers out. Once you do that, you simply take a punch and you lightly tap, because at least it was for me, lightly tap, and it came right on out the pin. So the way this works is, <sighs> all right, so you're gonna get, if you get this model, 
um, what you're going to do is you're going to place your um, guard or your mount or you know your your accessory mount back onto just like you were putting the carry handle and you're going to put the pin in that's it okay once you have the pin in there are two screws one's in the back and one's about middle section okay about probably i can't want to make sure here but it's about right there okay you're going to use blue loctite and you're going to loctite them up and you know you're gonna you want to make this even okay so you want to find your your even spot that's what I call you know your balance spot because you don't want it you don't want it be you don't want it up you don't want it down you want it even now after you do that you'll set your rail section at the bottom because your rail section is going to cover where those screws went and then you're going to put your other rail section the way you want it okay right here so the then what what i highly recommend is don't do nothing with the gun all right don't do nothing with the rail section leave it alone and let it sit there for you know at least uh a good two days because you want that blue rock tight to set and then what you got is more attachment rail sections that you can add on this side that you can add on the the uh, left hand side or right hand side and like if you want to throw white light you can you can throw a light over here um if you're a guy who's not into pressures pads which you know I, i'm a member of that club it's very it's very nice so you can come up under you got good grip and you can activate your light if that's what you want to do uh, another good thing is about these kind of lights of course this is the uh, stream light protac i can just unscrew it because i don't leave i mean if you're out during the day you don't need a light so i just take my lights off my guns uh, except for you know uh, my p320 because that's the gun i work with all the time anyways back to this now it's a great idea um I just don't know about it yet okay so the pros are I can run rail I can run rail I can run rail and uh, it feels good in the hand I can run uh, other types of uh, hand guards I mean hand, hand guard hand grips and you know whatever but now here lies the rub <laughs> So when I did this, I did this about when it first came in, and yesterday I went out to the range. From so from the day of the before the range, it had been sitting in it. You know, it had been sitting, setting the screws have been setting uh, for about three days. Okay, so went out to the range. Didn't take a lot of ammo because I never do because I'm, you know, ammo conscious. I took about uh, I don't know I think it might have been about 105 110 rounds of nine millimeter that I and I, I just brought I just took my 320 out and I took about uh, 60 to 80 rounds of 556 five, uh, out of that 60 to 80 rounds I think it, I definitely I know it was it's about 70 rounds I shot so <clears throat> allergies are terrible y'all so after about uh the about number 40 at my count would be this thing just started just wobbling i mean it was just loose as a goose and you know that's a no bueno right so that had me going huh so i looked at it and that could be my fault because i didn't balance the the rail so right now it's still on the it ain't no good uh or it ain't, it ain't no good or good list it ain't there yet um this is just evaluating so uh i said it did last night i put a lot more blue loctite on there and you know it, i think it's more balanced now and uh we'll, we'll see because it's going to be a few days before i can get back out to the range doing shooting with it 
so there's that the one negative so far on this is the price tag this ain't cheap this rail section assembly it is not cheap and uh, you know and I guess it's because it's overseas Corpus Defensio you know you're buying something that's overseas and, and you know it's coming to you from across the pond but um, I didn't notice it first in the first 30 rounds but when I was shooting on the first 30 rounds it was just basically one pull at the time bang click bang click bang you know uh, just working on being a very being as most as most accurate as I can be with this setup but it was it was after that I started shooting on steel plates bang 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 that this thing really started getting loose as a goose so that's that could be a negative from watching this video for you guys and if it is yeah I mean it is you know you know learn from the ones that are paying the money and making the mistakes but right now it's not a negative on my point uh, on my part due to the fact is it may have been been mechanical error on me all right so I'm doing this old the old baseball adage I'm gonna take it back out to the range again and probably do about the same steps bang 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 and then I'm gonna get really really I'm really gonna let it go and see what the heat off this piston does to the handguard and what it does with the stability of the handguard because if it starts flapping like that again then this is this uh, by Corvus Defensio and like I said I haven't seen a lot of videos on this other than Corvus Defensio's installation video is a no bueno okay uh, about the third time it happens to me it's going to be definitely on my end of the stick uh, not something that I would would ever buy again for a um, serious use okay uh, if that's the case then this will be taken off and I'll put the handguard back on uh, with, after a few cussing I bet you and uh, and see what I can do to make the money back on this if I can if I can't well it's a Corvus defense show that I have but anyways I uh, just want to show you the that the modularity of the tire is true you can be very modular with it um, now <clears throat> the AR fanboys out there and I'm an AR fanboy guy myself you know don't start chiming in saying you know ARs do this AR do that I've seen hand guards walk off I've seen you know quad rails that that have got busted um, rail sections I've seen M lock not work I've seen key mod not work it don't work it still goes right back to if you want the best overall handguard that's modular that you can do modularity with is old school quad rails like hard heavy durable old school quad rails it just seems like in my opinion your mods will vary and that's what this is all about is opinions and learning in my opinion that is uh, the key mod and M lock the smooth handguards I love those things because they're smooth they're not cutting you up you know the quad rails one of the negatives are they, they will cut you up that's why I use the <clears throat> that's why I use Magpul covers or uh, LaRue covers that kind of deal but um, yeah I like it but I don't like it enough that I would recommend it for someone like if you're going to like really use this thing uh, it's not there yet I just got it and I've just tried it once and it failed on me got to give it some more time to see what I can do to because uh, it could be mechanical error not because that's what it's designed to be so it's got to be human error and if I can't figure it out I'll tell you but there it is guys <clears throat> course defensio as you see it can, it can give you uh, your three o'clock your six o'clock your, your, your twelve o'clock your three o'clock six o'clock and your nine o'clock holds so be back directly y'all